Hello, this is Stan here for GPT for Excel. I will teach you briefly how to use it. So, uh, what you need to understand is GPT for Excel gives you functions, like the GPT function is the uh, main one, and which with with which you can uh, prompt GPT directly from a cell. So, for example, uh, write a name for a dog, and then it gives you an answer back. Okay, so let's see some more uh, applicable examples. For example, here, let's say that you have a list of titles that you want to optimize for SEO. So you can do GPT, optimize this title for SEO, and then reference the title here, and you will get an answer that is already much better than the initial title. Of course, uh, you will need to give uh, better, more precise instructions if you want even better results, like with ChatGPT. And since it is a formula, I can just drag it, and it will then apply to each row. So this is very, very uh, effective. Now, let's see some more use cases. Uh, a very uh, popular use case is to translate. Here, I have English descriptions of wines, and I want to translate them in French. We have a function for this that is called GPT translate. And I can just put the text here, and then the target language, and then the source language, English. Okay. And there we go. I get the translation in French of my English description. And I can double click, and it will do all of them. Okay. Now I want to go uh, to show you that I will show you another use case, but first uh, a few uh, important things that uh, to recover from errors. For example, if you do uh, GPT and then you put your prompt uh, like this, uh, translate to French, and this without quotes around the text, it will not work. So you will need to update the formula and put quotes around, double quotes around the text. And then it will work. All right. Um, this is really important. Also, in some locales, you will need to use uh, uh, this kind of separator instead of the comma. Okay? This is really important. Um, okay, so now let's do some sentiment analysis. Here I have a few reviews uh, from customers about my uh, hairdressing salon. Uh, and I will ask GPT classify to uh, categorize this, uh, these, these feedback. So I can uh, I will reference the feedback here, and then the categories will be positive, um, negative, neutral. Okay, and I can apply to all rows. And then, so of course, this one is positive. This one is neutral. Um, and this one is negative, so it works perfectly. Now, I'm going to uh, categorize feedback again, but this time with different categories. So we'll use GPT, classify again, and then reference to feedback and then put some other categories like praise, um, question, or problem. And I'll drag it. And there you go. Here this is a positive. Here this is a question, correct. And here, uh, of course, the user has a problem. So this is a problem. Uh, so it works well. Uh, one more use case, extract. So let's say that we want, we have some list of text here and we want to extract the email addresses. So uh, I'll just do GPT extract and reference the text to extract from. Say what I want to extract email address. And there we go. And by the way, I'll do a few more GPT extract and then reference this text again, and then say, I want to extract a full name. And there we go. 
dot full name um, and then the phone number. So GPT extract. Oops, made a mistake here. Sorry. GPT extract of this and a two and then the phone number. Uh, okay, let's try it. There we go. And again, again, track it down. And it seems to work. And for those where there was no phone number, it didn't return anything correctly. Okay, great. Uh, one last one. We can uh, summarize um, each sale as well. This is particularly useful when you get um, uh, feedback from customers or support tickets that are quite long and possibly in different languages and you just want a quick summary. Uh, so I use GPT summarize another function, reference the text, and then say I want a concise summary of this user feedback and in English. All right. And there we go. This is super useful to then quickly uh, understand what users are saying and maybe route, uh, route these requests to other people. Okay, uh, last thing I want to show today is uh, you can open the sidebar uh, and uh, then What's really important to understand is, let's go, for example, here. Uh, what's really important to understand is these are, uh, these cells contain formulas uh, with the GPT function here. Uh, if you want to edit manually those, this information, you will need to replace them. So what you can do is select here and then replace, replacing selection. There we go or if you have a lot of them, you don't want to select them, you can just replace in the full sheet. And now, oops, um, now this is pure text, so you can actually uh, edit it yourself. Okay, thank you uh, for listening. I hope this is helpful. Please don't hesitate to comment. Really excited about uh, GPE for Excel. Bye-bye.